So it's it's actually a very cool app that looks at all this stuff, and you can really I, I can see it being used really well for education and really just getting kids interested in actually learning about this stuff. Hi, welcome to the Howl Herald. My name is Paul, and today we're going to be previewing the Hollow Study demo, which is an app that kind of goes through a couple subjects and helps you study for them, I guess, and gives you some useful information. Kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like for educators if they decide if the HoloLens gets to the point where we're using it in schools, which I can see a very good use for it, especially after using this app. So I'm just loading it up here. So. Right now, the only one we have available to us, so it's in English and Rush, maybe. And so, We're right. Glad to welcome you okay, to she's going to talk to me. Real education quick. program, Hollow Study. It is your guide to the world of science and education. This is a demo version of our beta program. For entry to the virtual tour, please press the demo button or select one of the available educational sections for self acquaintance with the subject. So now I'm just going to do the self-acquaintance object, but they do have a demo section where you can actually get lectured by a character called Professor Hero, and it's holocra- it's like a something- it's an acronym, I forget the name, the meaning of the acronym, but you kind of get it. The only one we have open to us is Geology right now, so I'm just going to open that one up, and you'll see that once it finishes loading, we're going to load up a model of the Earth and some information next to it, and then we can go inside of the earth and look at like the mantle and things like that and it's a 3d model that you can walk around and stuff like that so it's really cool and it gives you a lot of useful information that I think educators would find incredibly useful as it gets kids a little more engaged when learning about the earth and things like that where they can actually see these things in 3d so there's the earth for you and there's just the general information and this has a useful feature instead of drag and scroll it has if you look down or up it actually scrolls for you so I actually like that feature of the app so here you have I'm gonna click that top one and what you see is we can look at the mass if I can get a click on that that's kind of gone into the television but you can kind of see it in relation so it gives you the mass and then it gives you you know like how it shows the Earth's gravitational effect on a canvas. That's what it's showing us right now on that matrix, so it's very cool. So now we're gonna go back, we're gonna look at, now if I can reach it, we're gonna get the polarity, if I can't. Okay, but now we're gonna look at the one that I really liked, which was the looking at the mantle and things like that. So you can see right now, we're not in a 3D model, but if I go, but now what I really thought was cool is if I click that one, you can see that it changed the color and it actually made it into a 3D model part. So you can really see that. That's really cool. And you can keep on doing that with all the features. If I can get a good click on it. You can see it created it again. Really smooth, really easy to use, really functional. And you can get a better idea of the scale of these layers of the Earth. And so, so you can see how the upper crust looks, stuff like that. And then you can see really how th just how thin in like comparison how thin the crust of the earth is. So we'll put that on. And then we'll put it all back together. If it works. Eh, okay. Now we're gonna do now we're gonna look at the topographical function which I thought was very cool. If it is topographical, I wasn't so sure. Yeah, you can kind of see the continental crust, oceanic crust meeting. You can kind of get an idea. So it's, it's actually a very cool app that looks at all this stuff. And you can really, I, I can see it being used really well for education and really just getting kids interested in actually learning about this stuff. and it makes it look beautiful and it makes you interested to look at it so if I click gives me the option to click on basalt here so 
it tells me all about the basalt layer and you can kind of get an illustration of the rock. So you can imagine in the future that we'll get super high def pictures of the rock and this will help kids identify the rock and things like that and what it would look like in real life. So I think it's a very cool app and is very useful for teachers and educators everywhere in really getting people engaged in their subjects. And I think one of the biggest things is this has a built-in tutor, but what if everyone in the classroom had a HoloLens on and the teacher was just was teaching with a HoloLens as well and could, could, and could control what holograms the kids are seeing and manipulate them however they want and kind of things and really just keep people interested in the subject they're teaching. So I think this is a very cool app in it. It has a lot of room to grow, but it's really a good idea of what the future is looking like with the HoloLens in terms of practical uses, not just games and things like that. So thanks for watching the Hollow Herald, and I hope you liked and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you later.